Hi everybody, this is and welcome to my channel. I'm Ramu Tanom Lecce and on this channel, School Mama Reality TV shows I'm a celebrities and my YouTubers. If it's your first time joining me today and you really like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button, like and the notification bell. So guys, it's not good right now to be Edwin Soji's wife or ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, current girlfriend, ex, you know, because he's going through a hard time, okay? Listen, do yourself a favor. Do marry a rich man, but do one of or all of the three things, okay? Number one, do check if, it's, if he, he is really, really rich, okay? Number two, please check the source of the riches, okay? Because if it has anything to do with the tenders, ooh, uh, you, you know, you know. <laughs> at least be aware and also you guys also also think about it you will have access to all of his assets okay and the money and everything but you also will inherit the obligations that come with being a wife of a rich man and this is what is happening with the ex-wife well it's not really the ex-wife i think it's a strange wife <laughs> Of Edwin Sodi. Now uh, there is a 50 million rand tax bill. Pella, you go by rich Nagoguza Nekwele to Azin Cool. But she's not the only one, you guys, that is suffering because there is also this one here. Okay. Apparently, Edwin Sodi also dumped his fiance Ukaren Zul. But the funniest thing is the reason why he dumped her. I'm like, hi, Bose. <laughs> I was doing a video on Tabo Besa and Nandi, but while they were in court, you guys, and I was laughing and somebody said, Dando, don't laugh at them. You know, this could be you. This can happen to you. And I'm like, absolutely the hell not. If I ever commit a crime and I am convicted to spend time in prison, if it's five years, I'm spending time, I'm spending that five years in prison. If it's 20 years, I'm spending 20 years in prison. I will never escape from prison, you know? Even more, I, when would I find a doctor to help me escape from prison? Uh, you know, <laughs> this is the same case here, you guys. I think I can laugh at this story because, listen, I don't have millions and I don't have access to millions to steal, okay? You know, even if I wanted to steal a few millions, I don't have access to it, okay? So this is what is happening. Ed, Edwin Swadi dumps a fiance amid cash crunch, okay? He says, yes, yeah, celebrity, celebrity Casanova and businessman Edwin Swadi allegedly dumped his fiance actress Karen Zulu just a few weeks before he lost his cars and properties at, at the auction, okay? So they allegedly took back designer bags. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he took back the designer bags he had bought for Zulu and asked her to vacate his home because she was being unsupportive and demanding. Okay. Listen, I'm like, hi, Bose. You actually married somebody who's like an influencer. Well, they do say he, she's an actress too. You, you married somebody, not, oh, they were not married. You were dating somebody that is like an influencer slash, you know, slay queen. And you expected that when things got tough, that they were going to be supportive to you? No, sir, that's not how that works, okay? They will support you in spending your riches, okay? They will spend your money very, very well. They will support the, the decline of your bank account. But that is as far as it goes. When the, the bank account is not bank accounting, they are out of there, okay? I'm like, how did she, he expect to be supportive, okay? Zulu also deleted all pictures of herself and the businessman from her social media because that is the only way she could hurt him because that, that's all that that she was giving in a relationship, you know, just posting him on social media. So he was like, okay, you're taking your bags back. I'm deleting you from my social media, okay? So remember, you guys, Edwin Sodi had his uh, properties auctioned uh, recently. It says here, let me just, let me just, there's a paragraph where they talk about what exactly was uh, auctioned uh, off. It says his cars, properties, company were also sold off at an auction on Saturday. More of his commercial properties are set to go on sale uh, this month at an auction. So he is actually going through a lot, you guys. It's not a lot, okay? Now, here is the story that is interesting, the story of uh, the wife, okay? This is the thing, you guys. When somebody is divorcing, 
a rich man, okay, they, they usually want to prove that, you know what, it's it's a 50-50 situation. All of the businesses, you know, I was helping him, you know, start these businesses so I should get half of it, okay? And then it comes to a point when now we are talking about debts and then the wife starts saying, no, but that was his debt, not my debt. No, ladies, that's not how it works. <laughs> If you've been trying to prove to everybody that you own uh, 50% of, you know, the assets, then you must not have a problem when the bills start coming now and SARS is like, oh, you were a 50% owner of that business. By the way, that business owes tax for this amount. So here is the 50% bill of that amount. So this exchange wife slept with 50 million rand tax bill plus fines. The writer's initial debt was 11.7 million before interest hiked it. Listen, SARS is like a machine guys sometimes you don't understand how they charge these interest amounts okay you know how do, do we move from 11.7 million to 50 million rents the estranged wife of controversial businessman edwin sodi has been slapped with an almost 50 million rent tax bill by the south african revenue services this is a story recent by umwa komalaj sunday well can exclusively reveal that ntabi saying my to Lely, the writer who separated from uh, Saudi a few years ago and is heading for divorce, also has 49.9 million in personal income tax. The shocking tidbits came uh, to fall after Sars obtained summons against the writer at the High Court in Johannesburg three weeks ago. According to the papers, which we have seen, the writer owed size over 11.7 million rands in personal income tax. She, according to the papers, also owed size over 8. 18.6 million in additional tax. The quantum ballooned over uh, 49 to over 49.9 million after the debts accrued more than 18.9 million in interest. Okay, that should be illegal though to charge so much interest. As if that was not enough, SARS also imposed 2,000 rents administrative penalties on her. Like SARS can be petty, you guys. I mean, if somebody is owing you 49.9 million rents, why would you even need to add 2,000 rents to that? Before applying for judgment, SARS sent Larada a final a letter of demand on November the 29th last year. I guess in a while we were eating a choice. I sorted being happy at work with our empty bank account. She was receiving letters of demand from SARS, threatening to attach and sell her assets if she did not pay the full amount within 10 working days. SARS also threatened to sequestrate or liquidate Lerata, the former Capricorn FM presenter, if she did not pay the dizzy dizzying amount it's, it's definitely dizzying okay so i informed the writer that she had failed to pay her tax debt for one more tax year over to amount of 48 million is it 48 million yes you know because I don't want you guys to now say you 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 see zuma lena yaka kwa zufundi nam yabo zuma kubo be funda lena bo be this is forty nine forty eight thousand thirty seven million fifty five hundred that's how we would read this this amount but we are not there over two amount of forty eight million uh, latest account statement balance you are requested to make a full payment within ten business days from the day of this letter of demand reads the letter the chosen based business this woman was also asked to apply for certain remedies within 10 business day from the date on which the letter was written to her. The remedies, according to the letter, include applying for suspension of the debt if she wanted to dispute it. Lerat also claimed that she was a Saudi's equal business partner in her business ventures, was also advised to apply for compromise of a portion of a staggering amount if this would provide higher return uh, to the fiscals than liquidation, sequestration, or other costs collection measures. The couple's business ventures include Blackhead Consulting, Blackhead Investment, Piri Construction, Base Properties, and a G5 Group. Sales also warned her that if she failed to make a full payment or use the recommended remedies, it might appoint a third party who would owe her or hold money for her to settle the tax debts. Attempt to solicit comment from Lerada Drew Blank as she ignored our phone calls and the questions we sent. Anyway, you guys, I'm sure she was busy calling SARS because, you know, now you have to call SARS to make an appointment for you to go discuss how you owe the money, <laughs> okay? Anyway, that's all that is happening, you guys. Like I said, do marry a rich man, but do check if a rich man is really rich and don't forget to check where what is the source of the riches. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it before Pumegiona share with your friends, with your family.
and even with strangers in Tanda Kakovi.